France has the world's fifth largest economy by nominal figures and the ninth largest economy by PPP figures. It has the second largest economy in Europe in nominal figures, based on the dynamic industrial structure of the French economy. OECD is headquartered in Paris, the nation's financial capital. As of 2002, France is the world's fifth and Europe's second largest national economy by nominal GDP. In 2010, Credit Suisse's Global Wealth Report ranked France the wealthiest European country with 2.6 million dollar millionaires, and the world's fourth wealthiest nation in aggregate household wealth. According to the IMF, in 2011, France is the world's 18th country by GDP per capita with $45,460 per inhabitant. In 2010, France was listed 14th on the United Nations's Human Development Index with 0.872 and 25th on the Corruption Perceptions Index. After the turn of the millennium, wealth per adult grew very strongly in France, tripling in value between 2000 and 2007. France's economy entered the recession of the late 2000s later and appeared to leave it earlier than most comparable economies, only enduring four quarters of contraction. Between January and March 2011, France's GDP growth had been stronger than expected at 0.9% but shrunk between April and June 2011 decreasing by a 0.1%. However, in 2012 growth was stagnant, and in the final quarter of 2013 the French economy was growing at a slow rate of 0.3%. France's world-leading corporations with 31 of the 500 biggest companies of the world in 2013, France ranks fifth in the Fortune Global 500, behind the USA, China, Japan and the UK. Paris is the second most important location in the world for the headquarters of the world's 500 largest companies, there are more Fortune Global 500 company headquarters in Paris than in Beijing, New York, London or Munich, but fewer than in Tokyo. AXA is one of the world's largest insurance companies. Air France is the world's largest airline company in incomes. L'Oreal is the world's largest cosmetic company. LVMH and PPR are the world's largest and second largest luxury product companies respectively. GDF Suez is the world's largest energy company. EDF is the world's largest utility company. Arvan is a large nuclear energy company. Veolia Environment is the world's largest environmental services and water management company. Vinci, Bowiegs and DFH are respectively world's first, second and fourth building and public work companies. Michelin is the world's pneumatic leader. Lafarge is the world's largest cement company. Stecco is the world's largest outdoor advertising corporation. BNP Paribas Credit Agricole and Societe Generale are respectively the world's first, sixth and eighth biggest banks and assets in 2010. Carrefour is the world's second largest retail group in terms of revenue. Total is the world's fourth largest private oil company. Danone is the world's fifth largest food company and the world's largest supplier of mineral water. Sanofi Aventis is the world's fifth largest pharmaceutical company. Publicis is the world's third largest advertising company. PSA is the world's sixth and Europe's second largest automaker. Renault Nissan is the world's leading electric car developer among major automakers. Acker is the leading European hotel group. Alstom is one of the world's leading conglomerates in power generation and transport. Pernod Ricard is one of the world's biggest producer of distilled beverages. In 2008, France was the second largest recipient of foreign direct investment among OECD countries at $117.9 billion, above the United Kingdom, Germany, or Japan. In the same year, French companies invested $220 billion outside France, ranking France as the second most important outward direct investor in the OECD, behind the United States, and ahead of the United Kingdom, Japan and Germany. Rise and decline of Dirigism, France embarked on an ambitious and very successful program of modernization under state coordination. This program of Dirigism, mostly implemented by governments between 1944 and 1983, involved the state control of certain industries such as transportation, 
energy and telecommunications as well as various incentives for private corporations to merge or engage in certain projects. The 1981 election of President Frenner Section 1 Mitterrand saw a short-lived increase in governmental control of the economy, nationalizing many industries and private banks. This form of increased dirigism was criticized as early as 1982. By 1983, the government decided to renounce dirigism and start an era of regal corporatization. As a result the government largely retreated from economic intervention. Dirigism has now essentially receded, though some of its traits remain. The French economy grew and changed under government direction and planning much more than in other European countries. Despite being a widely liberalized economy, the government continues to play a significant role in the economy. Government spending, at 56% of GDP in 2014, is the second highest in the European Union. Labor conditions and wages are highly regulated. The government continues to own shares in corporations in a range of sectors, including banking, energy production and distribution, automobiles, transportation, and telecommunications. These differ from countries such as the US or UK where most of these companies have been privatized. Government Finance In April and May 2012, France held a presidential election in which the winner from a section where Holland had opposed austerity measures, promising to eliminate France's budget deficit by 2017. The new government stated that it aimed to cancel recently enacted tax cuts and exemptions for the wealthy raising the top tax bracket rate to 75% on incomes over a million euros, restoring the retirement age to 60 with a full pension for those who have worked 42 years, restoring 60,000 jobs recently cut from public education, regulating rent increases, and building additional public housing for the poor. In June, Holland's Socialist Party won a supermajority in legislative elections capable of amending the French constitution and enabling the immediate enactment of the promised reforms. French government bond interest rates fell 30% to record lows, less than 50 basis points above German government bond rates. French government debt The French government has run a budget deficit each year since the early 1970s. In mid-2012, French government debt levels reached a 1,833 billion. This debt level was the equivalent of 91% of French GDP. Under European Union rules, member states are supposed to limit their debt to 60% of output or be reducing the ratio structurally towards this ceiling, and run public deficits of no more than 3.0% of GDP. In late 2012, Credit rating agencies warn that growing French government debt levels risked France's AAA credit rating, raising the possibility of a future credit downgrade and subsequent higher borrowing costs for the French government. France since 2012 has been downgraded by ratings agencies Moody's, Standard & Poor's, and Fitch to the AA plus credit rating. Sectors of the economy, industry. The leading industrial sectors in France are telecommunications, aerospace and defense, shipbuilding, pharmaceuticals, construction and civil engineering, chemicals, textiles, and automobile production. Research and development spending is also high in France at 2.26% of GDP, the fourth highest in the OECD. Energy, France is the world-leading country in nuclear energy, home of global energy giants Arvan, EDF and GDF Suez. Nuclear power now accounts for about 78% of the country's electricity production, up from only 8% in 1973, 24% in 1980, and 75% in 1990. Nuclear waste is stored on site at reprocessing facilities. Due to its heavy investment in nuclear power, France is the smallest emitter of carbon dioxide among the seven most industrialized countries in the world. In 2006 electricity generated in France amounted to 548.8 TWh, of which, 428.7 TWh were produced by nuclear power generation, 60.9 TWh were produced by hydroelectric power generation, 52.4 TWh were produced by fossil fuel power generation, 21.6 TWh by coal power, 20.9 TWh by natural gas power, 9.9 .9 TWh by other fossil fuel generation. 
6.9 TWh were produced by other types of power generation, the electricity produced by wind turbines increased from 0.596 TWh in 2004, to 0.963 TWh in 2005, and 2.15 TWh in 2006, but this still accounts only for 0.4% of the total production of electricity. In November 2004, EDF, the world's largest utility company and France's largest electricity provider, was floated with huge success on the French stock market. Notwithstanding, the French state still keeps 70% of the capital. Other electricity providers include Compagnie Nationale du Rhône and Endesa. France's Agriculture France is the world's sixth largest agricultural producer and EU's leading agricultural power, accounting for about one-third of all agricultural land within the EU. Northern France is characterized by large wheat farms. Dairy products, pork, poultry, and apple production are concentrated in the western region. Beef production is located in central France, while the production of fruits, vegetables, and wine ranges from central to southern France. France is a large producer of many agricultural products and is currently expanding its forestry and fishery industries. The implementation of the Common Agricultural Policy and the Uruguay Round of the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade have resulted in reforms in the agricultural sector of the economy. As the world's second largest agricultural exporter, France ranks just after the United States. The destination of 49% of its exports are other EU member states. France also provides agricultural exports to many poor African countries which face serious food shortage. Wheat, beef, pork, poultry, and dairy products are the principal exports. Exports from the United States face stiff competition from domestic production, other EU member states, and third world countries in France. U.S. agricultural exports to France, totaling some $600 million annually, consist primarily of soybeans and soybean products, feeds and fodders, seafood, and consumer products especially snack foods and nuts. French exports to the United States are much more high-value products such as its cheese, processed products and its wine. The French agricultural sector received almost 11 billion in EU subsidies. France's competitive advantage is mostly linked to the high quality and global reputation of its products, among which are some of the world's most renowned agricultural products such as wine and cheese. Such world-famous products goes a long way to create a thriving domestic sector. Tourism France is the world's most popular tourist destination with more than 81.9 million foreign tourists in 2007, ahead of Spain and the United States. This figure excludes people staying less than 24 hours in France, such as Northern Europeans crossing France on their way to Spain or Italy during the summer. France is home to cities of much cultural interest beaches and seaside resorts, ski resorts, and rural regions that many enjoy for their beauty and tranquility. France also attracts many religious pilgrims to Lourdes, a town in the Haute's Pira copyright na copyright is da copyright partment, which hosts several million visitors a year. According to figures from 2003, some popular tourist sites include, Eiffel Tower, Louvre Museum, Palace of Versailles, Musa copyright e d'Orsay, Arc de Triomphe, Centre Pompidou, Mont Saint Michel, Car Saint de Chambord, Saint Chapel, Car Saint du Holt, Car Nixberg, Fuy de Dami, Musa Copyright e Picasso, Carcassonne. Weapons Industry The French arms industry's main customer, for whom they mainly build warships, guns, nuclear weapons, and equipment, is the French government. Record high defense expenditure, which was considerably increased under the government of Prime Minister Jean-Pierre Raffarin, goes largely to the French arms industries. France is also the fourth largest weapons exporter in the world. French manufacturers export great quantities of weaponry to the United Arab Emirates, Brazil, Greece, India, Pakistan, Taiwan, Singapore and many others. External trade France is the second largest trading nation in Europe. Its foreign trade balance for goods had been in surplus from 1992 until 2001, reaching $25.4 billion in 1998. However, 
the French balance of trade was hit by the economic downturn, and went into the red in 2000, reaching a US$15 billion US dollars deficit in 2003. Total trade for 1998 amounted to US$730 billion, or 50% of GDP a euro imports plus exports of goods and services. Trade with European Union countries accounts for 60% of French trade. In 1998, USA Euro France trade stood at about US$47 billion a euro goods only. According to French trade data, U.S. exports accounted for 8.7% a euro about $25 billion a euro of France's total imports. U.S. industrial chemicals, aircraft and engines, electronic components, telecommunications, computer software, computers and peripherals, analytical and scientific instrumentation, medical instruments and supplies, broadcasting equipment, and programming and franchising are particularly attractive to French importers. The principal French exports to the U.S. are aircraft and engines, beverages, electrical equipment, chemicals, cosmetics, luxury products and perfume. France is the ninth largest trading partner of the U.S. RA Copyright Gins Economy The economic disparity between French regions is not as high as that in other European countries such as the UK, Italy or Germany, and higher than in countries like Sweden or Denmark, or even Spain. However, Europe's wealthiest and second largest regional economy, Ile de France, has long profited from the capital city's economic hegemony. The most important RA copyright gains are Ile de France, René Alpes, Provence Alpes Cartier d'Isère, Nord Par de Calais, and Pays de la Loire. RA copyright gains like Alsace, which has a rich past in industry and currently stands as a high income service specialized region are very wealthy without ranking very high in absolute terms. The rural areas are mainly in Aubaine, Limousin, and Centre, and wine production accounts for a significant proportion of the economy in Aquitaine, Burgundy, and Champagne produced in Champagne-Ardennes. List of French RA copyright gains ranked by GDP total and per capita. Sourcia INSEE Sourcia FXTOP.com Departments Economy and Cities Departmental income inequalities, in terms of income, important inequalities can be observed among the French DA copyright partments. According to the 2008 statistics of the INSEE, the Yvelines is the highest income DA copyright partment of the country with an average income of a 4,750 per month. Hautes de Seine comes second, Esson third, Paris fourth, Seine Marne fifth. Ile de France is the wealthiest region in the country with an average income of a 4,228 per month compared to a 3,081 at the national level. Alsace comes second, René Alpes third, Picardy fourth, and Upper Normandy fifth. The poorest parts of France are the French overseas DAR copyright apartments, French Guiana being the poorest DAR copyright apartment with an average household income of a 1,826. In metropolitan France it is Cruz in the Limousin region which comes bottom of the list with an average household income of a 1,849 per month. Urban income inequalities, huge inequalities can also be found among cities. In the Paris metropolitan area, significant differences exist between the higher standard of living of Paris or West and lower standard of living in areas in the northern banlieues of Paris such as Saint-Saint-Denis. For cities of over 50,000 inhabitants, Newly sur Seine, a western suburb of Paris, is the wealthiest city in France with an average household income of a 5,939 and 35% earning more than 8,000 per month. But within Paris, four arrondissements surpass wealthy Newly sur Seine in household income the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, and the 16th. The 8th arrondissement being the wealthiest district in France. Wealth Overview In 2010, the French had an estimated wealth of 14.0 trillion US dollars for a population of 63 million. In terms of aggregate wealth, the French are the wealthiest Europeans, accounting for more than a quarter of wealthiest European households. Globally, the French nation ranks fourth wealthiest. In 2010, wealth per French adult was a little higher than $290,000 down from a pre-crisis high of $300,000 in 2007. According to this ratio, 
French are the wealthiest in Europe. The tax on wealth is paid by 1.1 m of people in France. The payment of this tax starts when AA 1.3 m of assets is reached. Almost every French household has at least $1,000 in assets. Proportionally, there are twice as many French with assets of over $10,000 and four times as many French with assets of over $100,000 than the world average. The French are also among the least indebted populations in the developed world with personal debt accounting for little more than 10% of household assets. Millionaires, France has the highest number of millionaires in Europe. There were 2.6 million millionaire households living in France in 2010 followed by the UK and Germany this accounts for about 3.9% of the total French population. In 2010, among the top 1% of global wealth holders, 4,045 are French. The wealthiest European is the French multi-billionaire and LVMH CEO and owner Bernard Arnault. The world's third wealthiest woman is French L'Oreal cosmetic empire heiress Liliane Betancourt. See also, Taxation in France, Economic History of France, Economy of Paris, Poverty in France, General, France, Economy of Europe, Economy of the European Union, Notes and References. External links, Official French Exporters Directory Eurofirmafrance.com is the official French Exporters B2B Directory, powered by Arbifrance and officially endorsed by the Ministry of the Economy. Finance and Industry of France. OECD's France Country website and OECD Economic Survey of France, French National Institute for Statistics and Economic Studies, Zerfia Euro French Private Economic Report Institute, Comprehensive Current and Historical Economic Data, World Bank Trade Summary Statistics France 2012, Useful Information about Banks in France, including branches and ATMs locations, Contacts and SWIFT codes, tariffs applied by France as provided by ITC's Market Access Map, an online database of customs tariffs and market requirements.